Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is third grade, module seven, lesson 27. We're still talking about the robot in class. We're kind of wrapping up that robot investigation. Students have been designing this robot with bunches of squares and rectangles and even some circles and talking about the area and the perimeter of those rectangles. Um, on this lesson, we're just gonna kind of, for the homework, uh, which is what I'm gonna focus on for the video, uh, for this homework, it's really just more practice calculating the area and the perimeter of the a variety of rectangles and then talking about what do we notice about the perimeter of squares, specifically squares. Uh, what do we notice about the area of squares? How can we tell if something is a square or not given the area or the perimeter? So this is uh, kind of a wrapping it up kind of a lesson. So let's get started. So here are a bunch of squares and rectangles, and we are supposed to find the area and the perimeter of each of those figures. And so let's get started on this, and let's start with, oh, let's start with A, uh, because, you know, it's, it's there. <laughs> and so uh, perimeter means we're going to add all the four sides, but remember we have a nice shortcut. We add the length and the width and then times by two because the, there's the other length and width on the other side. So for this square, we've got six plus six is 12, double it, you get 24. So the perimeter, and I'm gonna zoom in here, so the perimeter is 24 centimeters and then the area is length times width well 6 times 6 is 36 um, and so the area is 36 square centimeters and we write it that way so let's scooch over oh here's B okay so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit alright so what is the perimeter well the perimeter is you add the length and the width, in this case, eight plus four, that gives us 12. And then we double it, that gives us 24 as our perimeter. Now the area, length times width, is 32 because eight times four is 32. And we say centimeters squared. And that's the idea is it, I'm going to pretty much make this video super short because we, I think at this point we kind of get the idea. Perimeter, you're going to add length and width. So the 1 plus 11 is 12. Double it, you get 24 centimeters. And then the area, length times width, 1 times 11 is 11 centimeters squared. Now I am going to zoom out and we're going to use the power of technology uh, to fill in the rest of these answers. And zippity zip power of technology there are our fi final answers here. You'll notice we've got these uh, rectangles up here, they all have the same perimeter, but they have different areas. And down here, you'll notice they also have the same perimeter, uh, but different areas. And that's kind of a kick. So let's go to the next slide. And here, we are going to be asked to take that information from the previous slide and fill in all of our information. So with the help of the technology, let's do that. So, boom, there's all the answers. All right, so you've got your lengths and widths of all your rectangles. You've got your perimeters, and we noticed that three of the rectangles had the same perimeter but different areas, and then the other three had the same perimeter but different areas. And then parents and teachers guide your students through, through answering these little observational kinds of questions. What do you notice? What do you notice? And what do you notice about the two rectangles that are squares? And which one has the greater perimeter and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to let parents and teachers, I'm going to let you guys guide your students through those observational kinds of questions. And that wraps up 
Um, third grade module seven lesson 27 we are still practicing perimeter and area of a bunch of different rectangles and we're trying to understand the relationship between perimeter and area what does each of those things mean if we know the perimeter do we know the area and of course the answer is no because really there is no relationship between the perimeter and the area um, but, but we do want to help our students understand the difference between those two concepts